Stephanos. Stephen never feared to speak. His tongue was sharp, his heart not weak. He had no care of limb nor life, but only for the word of truth, of which he could not rest his mouth, e'en when his talking led to strife. He cared not who he would offend, as long as he was sure that he spoke well. So of his lord the temple folk he'd tell, and urge them to their lives amend. His thirst for righteousness was all he knew, it moved his soul in all he would pursue. The wisdom of his golden tongue was such that a report of his words became too much for Jewish lords to stomach well, and they did wrest him from his way, and hold him fast before their sway, demanding that his tale he'd tell. Then, rather than excuse his case, or pander to their eager ears, the holy man did them berate, denouncing those who'd set his fate as faithless rogues who sat in state, yet failed to recognise the face of the long-looked-for Prince of Peace. These words they could not entertain, nor even grant a spark of truth, but straight away they did condemn the saint to sudden vicious death by blunt, brute, bruising, break-bone stones, which like their hearts and putrid breath were cold and only fit to maim. He lifted faithful eyes to sky above, as flesh was bruised and skull was broke, and as he died his face beamed out its love in response to the words he heard clear spoke. Well done, my friend, come to my side, and ever in my kingdom you'll reside.